Hi guys, welcome to our exciting video on creating AI based UGC with Hagen. Today, we'll show you how AI can help you create personalized and engaging user generated content using Hagen. So, let's get started. Now, you may be wondering what AI has to do with UGC. Well, with the help of AI, you can generate UGC that is highly personalized and relevant to the user. That means now you can create videos, blog posts, or social media content that perfectly caters to a target audience. We have logged in on Hagen now. Now, towards your left, you'll see a bar which has home, template, avatar, video that you have created, and the assets that you can upload in order to create your USGC. On the home screen, we also see there are multiple options starting from URL to video product page on Amazon, you simply paste your Amazon listing URL and Hagen will create a video for you. Likewise, we can start using a template or we can start our UGC by selecting an avatar. Hagen offers a range of customizable avatars that can make your UGC videos more engaging. You can select an avatar that best represents your brand or target audience with an avatar because that's what I prefer but please feel free to do this by going into the templates as you can see there are multiple templates that you can use to create your highly personalized UGC video at the top bar we can see there are multiple options that is if you want to create a UGC for advertisement for e-commerce for to explain a product or to use in social media. Now, definitely if we are developing a UGC for any of the platform like Facebook and TikTok, we can click on advertisement. It will give us multiple options and you can pick any one to create your UGC as you can see over here. Now, you also can do like this where you first start with an avatar and then you go ahead with creating the video. In this case, to make things more interesting, let's create a UGC for a popular app, Calm. And to do this, we'll choose an avatar that executes calmness and relaxation. But what about the script? Let's use ChatGPT, a perfect language model that can generate human-like responses to a given prompt. Let's try this out. So we have OpenAI chat GPT open. I have this prompt, a text based prompt where I've said that go through this URL and this URL is for App Store for Calm app. And I've just asked chat GPT to create a one UGC video script that can be used in TikTok ads that should look unscripted, informal, and targeted to a audience persona with a strong hook at the very start. And definitely, you can alter this prompt based on your needs and make it more powerful with more details, right? So in this case, let's go ahead with this prompt. And based on that, we received this script to be used in our UGC. So now, as we have our script for the UGC video, let's go back to Hagen, select one avatar that goes well with the target audience of Calm. To go ahead with the UGC video, I'm going to pick an avatar from here. And I can use this one because I feel that this person looks calm. So what I'll do is I'll use this avatar to create either a landscape or portrait. In our case, if you want to run it on TikTok, let's go ahead with portrait version. And once you click on that, you will see this screen where this is our avatar that we have selected. At the bottom, this is the script that the avatar would be saying. And towards your right, you can change the audio based on what you want to use. So currently, if we are using a voiceover of Edward, which seems friendly, we can use someone else as well. For example, we can use someone 
named Connor or maybe Dylan who is who has more British voice and is more cheerful and we can use any of these voice to be used in our UGC. So in our case, I'm going with the default uh, to make a video more engaging. We can increase the speed setting as well. So for this particular avatar, speed setting is not available, but for other avatars is perfectly fine. We can use this, we can increase the pitch, we can increase the speed so that it looks more natural. And instead of using this whole sized avatar, we can play with this out as well by using a shorter version or a bigger version or maybe move it slightly over here. So that's all we can do, right? And this is our script. A script we have already created over here. So what we'll do is we'll just copy this out. Okay. So let's copy this out. So this would be our first scene of the video. To add some more scenes, what we can do is we simply can duplicate, add other scripts in those ones. Likewise, we can duplicate again. We can add our script, right? And now we have our audio script. We have an avatar and all we have to do is add a relevant walkthrough video or images or assets that you may already have. So in this case, let's go forward to element section where we can add stock images, videos, frames, stickers, icons, as you can see over here. So you can choose any one of these in the assets. You can upload your relevant assets related to the app you are creating this UGC for. And uh, if you have them, upload them and use it right away. But in this case, let's say we do not have an app walkthrough. We do not have a footage that is to be used in app. And we just want to use images or videos that are publicly available, which we can say as stock video. So we'll go to element. We'll go to videos and over here we can select the type of video that we want for this particular script. So for example, if this is saying here they're feeling stressed out, we can have a video where a user seems stressed out. So let's say man is stressed. For example, we have find some good videos where the man is not happy. So if I want to use this one, uh, either I can stretch this out or if I can do this as well, which is set as background, right? So this is how we can create an AI UGC video using a stock video as a background and avatar at the top of it. Now, the second screen says it's introducing the Calm app. So ideally, we should have a footage that has Calm app but if we do not have that, let's try searching for that if you are able to find one. But if you do not, uh, maybe you can add a calming video, right? And set as background and towards your third one, meditation. Right? Uh, let's search for one relevant video. Maybe I'll use this one set as background. So now I have a video like this and you can make some more changes to the video. You can make, you can change the background and you can add some calming music to the entire video. So if you, you want to add uh, maybe inspirational background, so you can use this as a music which will run at the background. And uh, if you have assets, you can use them directly. You can add text captions as well. If you are sure that you want to display them, we have some templates over here, or we can add them as titles or subtitles and add body text. And once we have this, we simply can preview, right? So we have this, and if we are sure about this, we'll click on submit. 
I'll click on submit and once I submit this it will take some time and that's it once you have the video ready and please note that it may take a couple of minutes to generate the video you can download it right from here and can add subtitles using AnyMaker. So do note that you can add those subtitles via Hagen as well, but that is very time consuming and effort centric. So I have found AnyMaker very easy to go with, which adds subtitles via AI and is very straightforward. So AnyMaker is just simply a tool that can automatically generate subtitles for the video using AI algorithms. It's actually a great way to make our content more accessible to a wider audience. So what we are going to do is we'll download this video from here and you can find the link in the video description where we will showcase the video that we have created over here. Okay, so I'll download this. I've downloaded this and I've also opened AnyMaker where it asked me to upload the file. So I'll upload the file that we have just downloaded named test. It will take a couple of minutes, I would say, or seconds based on the length of the video um, that it has. So let's wait for a few seconds till the video is getting processed. Now, as you can see, the video is processed and is available on AnyMaker. While you can manually add your subtitles as well, but to reduce the efforts, what we are going to use is add subtitle automatically to the video. We'll click on that. AnyMaker will generate the subtitles within a few seconds. And you may need to do some minor edits to the spelling uh, or grammar, but overall it saves a lot of your time. So let's see how it generates that. So as you can see, subtitles are generated right away where hey, they are feeling stressed out. Uh, we can add full stop. We can capitalize this. So I took a quick look and it looks fine. All I need to do is now click on download. Download video. AT720. And now I have downloaded. And at the bottom, you can see that there are subtitles automatically added to the video and that's it once you are happy with the subtitles you can download the video and use it for your social media or other marketing campaigns and i'll add the links to both of the videos that we have downloaded today one via hagen and then one via animaker as well where we added subtitles so you can choose and select the video that you want to use with subtitle or without subtitle and can take a look at the quality since we have just created this right in front of you within a few minutes as it happens uh, the next screen would just be to download the video and that's it i hope you enjoyed learning about creating ai based ugc videos with hagen today and how it can help you create personalized content for your audience don't forget to check out the tool and let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you are interested in having us help you build AI based UGC or explore our services for user acquisition or creative production, head over to rocketshiphq.com or send us a note at hi at rocketshiphq.com. We are always happy to help. Thank you.